Well, greetings class and welcome to CST 158. This is Professor Brown and today we're going to be doing uh, lab number seven on IPv6 configuration. I'm trying out my webcam for the first time here so we're going to see how this works out. All right so uh, first step make sure that you have your lab manual uh, readily accessible. Uh, this time around we're going to be doing an IPv6 configuration on both your Windows Server 2019 as well as your Fedora box and answering a couple of questions there at the at the end. Okay, so make sure that I'm you are logged into NetLab, set up a reservation, make sure you go into 158, I have a couple of them here, so I'm um, going to that one. And this is Lab 7 IPv6. So we'll click that. I've already downloaded the lab manual from the Canvas webpage, so we're all set to go. And I'm just going to just select one here. Make sure that I give myself plenty of time for this one. 48 minutes is more than enough time. I'll click Submit. It's scheduled. And go into the lab. Okay, so I'm going to pause here real quick while this is coming up, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back, and the uh, Windows Server, we're going to work in it first. So, uh, caveat here, and I know I've said this a couple of times in other labs, uh, the way that they have NetLab set up, um, they have a base installation for all the labs. Uh, in this lab we do not need to go back and redo anything we did in previous labs but in the next lab we will uh, so keep keep that in mind so I'm going to send a control -Alt delete and log in administrator against the local one the CST password and from here I'm going to just close out all of these boxes and I'm going to skip around here a little bit between windows. All right, so we've done number one. Now we need to get into the network uh, adapter in order to give it an IPv6 address. So uh, I outlined the steps right here. But uh, another alternative way to do this is to click here, right click I should say, open network and internet settings. All right. You click on change adapter options and then click on the ethernet, right click, click properties. You are right there where you need to be. So we're gonna go into internet protocol version 6 click on properties all right so I'm going to move this over to my other screen so I can read off of it at the same time all right so we've chosen IPv6 in the IPv6 address field click that we're gonna put in 1 colon 2 colon 3 colon 4 colon colon ABCD Lots of colons. All right. In the subnet prefix length, enter 64. All right. For the preferred DNS server, down here. Enter colon colon one. All right, we're not setting up an, a default gateway. We would have to know our default gateway if we wanted to do that. Uh, we could set up a default gateway, uh, and if we wanted to get out to the internet in NetLab, we don't get out to the internet anyway, so we're not going to bother with it. So all we're going to do is uh, do a quick. 
screen capture here. So go to my snipping tool. New. Let's see here. That's good enough. Make sure you get your timestamp. Edit. Copy. Put that. Let's see what we did there, there, there. We got that. So that was after number nine. Paste that in there. That's good. So now we're going to open up a command prompt and we're going to um, look at our IPv6 settings with the IP config command and then ping ourselves. So come over here and type in command. And from here we're going to type in IP config. All right, there's our link local. And then they just ask us to ping one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D. check why that's not working one second okay comedy of errors there sorry about that <laughs> uh, I had goofed up let me show you what I goofed when I went there and did the come on no uh, don't freeze up on me <laughs> uh, so what I did is when I entered the um, the numbers I put a single colon and not a double colon so make sure you do a double colon it was it was correct in the documentation so make sure you put a double colon I did not do that and make sure that when after you take that screenshot, so my screenshot that I had here was incorrect. It should be a uh, two colons between four and a. So please make note of that. And goof up on my behalf. And then um, once you okay, click OK and you back totally out of that, it'll take uh, about a minute. And then you can do the IP config where you get your IPv6 address. And then you can do your ping and you get your responses. Okay, so make sure that you put the double colon between there. Very important. That completes the IPv6 address. And let's get a screen capture of that. Yeah, that'll work. All right. And that will be after number 12. There we go. All done. Let's move on to the Fedora box. So let's go to Fedora. Log in as root with the password. There we go. And so for this one, uh, it's a, about a five-step process, six-step process. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the sysconfig and edit our uh, iconfig file, ifconfig file. Hopefully that's the right number. If not, we will adjust it. Okay, so let's navigate to that. CD, whack, Etsy, whack. ls it so we're looking for the going to network scripts okay so here is the file that we need to configure if we cat that 
we can see that here's all of our settings. So in the um, IPv6 file, this isn't the exact n uh, number. This is from the, the demo or from the um, from NDG's documentation. So your file name is actually going to be whatever's in that network scripts directory. Okay, so um, we can edit it and then in this file we need to ensure that IPv6 is set to yes, change the IPv6 auto config to no, and in the file add the line at the bottom that reads IPv6 adder equals 1 colon 2 colon 3 colon 4 colon colon BCDE WAC 64. Okay, so we're going to do that. So you can use uh, gedit, you can use nano, you can use vim. I'm an old school guy. I'm going to use vi. All right. So from here, I'm going to hit the insert key. And now I can edit. So in here, where it says IPv6 in it, it's set to yes already, so we're good. Change the auto comp to no. And then towards the bottom of the IPv6, here actually so we'll do IPv6 adder equals 1 colon 2 colon 3 colon 4 colon colon BCDE <coughs> excuse me WAP 64 okay Make sure that you do the case correctly, IPv6 ADDR. Now, to close this out in VI, I'm going to hit Escape to get out of insert mode. I'm going to hit colon, WQ bang, and that will write it. Now, if I want to make sure that it took place, I can cat it again. And you can see that there's my address. That looks good. All right. So we're going to type in service network restart. I think I got the command wrong. Okay, so I found out where I had gone wrong. What I need to do, actually, you don't have to go anywhere else. You can simply reset the interface with the if config command. Our interface demand, so I'm going to do an if down uh, ENS33, which is the name of the adapter. And then wait a second, and then do if up ENS33. And it's successfully activated. Then if I do if config, you can now see that it has that IP address BCDE. So I should be able to ping 1 colon 2 colon 3 colon 4 colon colon BCDE. There we are. Control C. 
That's that's about out. Let's get a screen capture of that real fast. Edit copy. So that can go right here. There we go. And we did a ping and we got that reply. We didn't do the dash six, we just did the regular IPv6. So I'm curious, this isn't part of the lab, but um, we have the firewall up on the Windows server. I wonder if we could ping the Windows server. Oh, colon, A, B, C, D. Yeah. But if we went to the Windows server, because the firewall's up, it's going to block ICMP. password there you go let's run a command here just for giggles oh. <laughs> I'm goofing up here colon one colon two colon three colon Four colon colon A B C D. Uh, that's not good. Is it reset every time? That's some one thing I don't like about NetLab. Yeah, see, it reset every time it comes. Oh, that's because I'm on the DHCP server, huh? Whoops. Let's try this again. <laughs> uh, cancel. Hey, there we go. So, yeah, here's our reply. So let's. B, C, D, E. All right. Hey, we got it. So that completes the lab. Uh, you don't have to show this. Um, screenshot but if you do that's okay too you don't get any extra points but that kind of completes the loop so 20 minute lab there for IPv6 in both Windows and Linux um, I hope you caught that I'm going to be uh, updating the lab files so with that um, that'll do it we'll see you all later take care